Well, hello again. I guess it was a busy afternoon. There was four of us after all, so one bottle wasn't enough. And so this is what we had after, which is a Grenache uh, by our friends at uh, Relic, the Paris Vineyard, where they've been making Grenache since 2013. 100% Grenache from Napa, from the West Coast, uh, you know, it's typically, it's kind of soil, gravelly and, 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 and you know, slope sort of uh, 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 that you would find, let's say, in the south of France or in the, the north of uh, uh, Spain, although it's not necessarily, you know, granitic in the same way. Uh, but uh, uh, we've had some of this wine before together. And I think that the, sorry, I'm gonna look something up here. Um, and so, and, and then uh, the, the, I've always liked this wine, and and this is something that I you know after having the Rioja, and having uh, all of us being really lovers of Southern Rhone wines, I decided this might be a good contrast, and it's a good thing to sort of have later because it's a stronger wine. It's going to definitely leave its mark, and you don't want to start with that because things after that may not quite feel the same. Anyway. Uh, so again, this is 2015, which was a great year. Again, as I said, it's a particular vineyard that they've had access to. It is south facing. It's on this. It's on a slope. It's sand and sh and shale. So it could again remind people of some of the vineyards in the south uh, southern Rhone. Um, look at the color here. It's really almost Burgundian, and that's kind of interesting about this particular Grenache because you don't get that from the deep Grenaches in uh, in Europe. At least I don't get that. I get a sort of a darker, uh, you know, really thicker, let's say, color. This wine also is unfined and unfiltered. So that's really, you're getting it the way it is. Uh, higher alcohol, we're talking 14.5%. On the nose, what jumps at you is really pencil lead and raspberry an incredible whiff of raspberry, which is again, this is now, it wasn't like this a few hours ago when we were, you know, this is the end of the bottle here, when we were going uh, and getting into it. And, and um, but at the same time, you don't get this overpowering sensation of alcohol. It's got a little bit coolness, you know, even on the nose. So it's just interesting because that raspberry is so pronounced, but it's it's really delightful because uh, to me it's pretty unusual. Hmm. The fruit in this wine is just incredible. It's really rich. It's present, it's not over the top. It's not like one of those fruit bombs, not at all. That's not what these guys make. But it's just, you know, they have a way of really capturing the fruit and having it be pronounced. And maybe this won't be the case in another five years, but I don't know if these are wines that are made for really a lot of aging. And, but at the same time, uh, you have the pleasure of the, the fineness of the wine and not very tannic, nice finish, but really very subtle. Um, a little bit of acidity, which you would want. Some licorice, you know, which is kind of funny because we were commenting uh, about that uh, at the table. You expect that really in the north, in the in the sort of Priorat and the Southern Rhone Grenaches, and you think that's got to do with the terroir. But here we're getting it in a Napa uh, wine. Maybe it's from the schist uh, soil, and that's kind of an interesting uh, observation here. But uh, uh, it doesn't really taste like a European uh, Grenache. And to me, the main difference is the intensity. This is lighter, a little bit, uh, 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 you know, cooler, sort of from a, a, a alcohol point of view. It's very good, very precise. It doesn't have the richness and the thickness that you would get in a Chateau Neuf, let's say. Uh, but, you know, they're both very, very good. And this, in a way, I think becomes maybe easier to drink and to enjoy because of that. Just an excellent uh, red wine. And let me just take one last. Mm. 
you have some more red fruits other than the raspberry but again the pencil shavings the licorice and the sort of really fine alcohol that 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 combine and sort of carries all that stuff and just really a, a pleasure a pleasure to drink cheers and uh see you soon